All right, it is Friday, May 5th, 2023. Quick um, functionality test of the Sony SRA3 tube preamp. Um, these are your master outputs. These are what you want to use, these two bottom ones. This is the aux input, but uh, I'll get to that a little bit later. One thing to note is that this is a pretty short power cord. Um, I use an extension cord with it or keep it closer to the power strip. Alright, so I made a simple beat on the polyin tracker. I have it running into the microphone inputs, the SRA3, and this uh, out into channels 10 and 11 on my mixer. So I will turn this on. And give it a second for the tubes to warm up. Alright, and there we go. So this can get uh, pretty loud. This is sort of like a lock button to keep you from sort of accidentally nudging it, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't matter if you have it on that or that. It, uh, it sounds the same. that and uh, hook these up. Since this is the mic, uh, this has a lot louder output than uh, the aux. So let's swap that over real quick. So now it is poly end tracker going into the aux and aux inputs on the back. Now I will have to go to the master and crank the volume like way up. There we go. Alright, take him off mute. And for those inputs is this back wheel. So, you know, it, it sounds okay, you know, but, you know, that's where the money is right there, those inputs. Nothing really special about the ones on the back. And uh, that is the Sony SRA3 tube microphone preamplifier.